Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome to my Candy Crusher workouts where we will spend our time focusing on total body strength and conditioning along with extra cardio to help burn up the calories and lean out. My goal is to make working out a lot more fun. We'll talk, work hard, get stronger and feel better while you do you, modify and find your challenge. Today I'm running you through a longer workout of 15 minutes. We'll build the, t the intensity throughout this workout. Let's find our challenge. Click play, follow me, let's get to it. All right, hello, hello. Welcome to day one of my Candy Crusher month. Yes, we're calling it Candy Crusher for a reason. We're going to do a lot of total body, a lot of uh, conditioning. So you're gonna find cardio in some of these videos now. So I'm super excited. Today I did get the dumbbells out. That's all you need, but I do have a variety. I have a lightweight eight, so you're thinking five eights. 15s and 20s so somewhere in that medium range for you i have a couple around if you um, have them i try not to make the weight too heavy i have some um, ideas about that and how we're going to change it up and i can't wait to share it with you you've done it before all right let's go ahead and warm up real quick i want to go with leg swings as you actually let's go with uh, knee hugs just to warm up we have about five minutes then we're going to go into um, a round of 10 minutes where we'll count our reps so we'll actually have reps in today and then we'll go into some timed intervals with some heavier weight. This is gonna be uh, total body. There's gonna be a lot of muscular endurance here, okay? So we're gonna just keep going. I'll give you an out at, the, at a certain point of this if you don't have 50 minutes to give, because this is a 50 minute workout. We're gonna push ourselves. This is a month to push ourselves. Uh, show up when you can and give it your all. Good, just walk it out. Hug, find your balance. <laughs> I don't know that I have a whole bunch of it today, but we'll do our best. I'll do my best and we'll do it together and we're gonna feel great after. Really great. Let's go ahead, lift that knee up and out and in, okay? So I'm actually gonna lift up like I'm clearing a hurdle and back around. And we're not going to squat right now. We're gonna have plenty of time for that. So we're just gonna move a little bit here in this, this warm up. Good, over to the side. Give me one more each side. Heart rate's already elevating. <laughs> Probably because I'm tired, but that's all right. Let's rock from heel to toe. Warm up those feet, calves, ankles. Loosen up. There you go. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, good, I want you to find your balance here. We're gonna go into a warrior hold. We did this one whoop, not too long ago, if you saw that video. Reach, find your balance. You gotta draw the navel in and up, squeeze the glutes, hold and breathe. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, Ooh, activating a lot of muscles there. Stabilizers, here we go, out towards the other side. Reach and breathe. Again, draw that navel in, draw the belly button in, squeeze your glutes. Maybe your leg is down a little bit for now. Maybe you're holding on to something in front to do this. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, good job. Let's go ahead and swing across the body. Again, practicing balance here. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. But I love this one with this rotation. So we're drawing in and we're finding our balance here as well. Good, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, other side. Ooh, feeling it everywhere today. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work. Let's go side to side here. A little slider lunge, I call it. Sliding lunge. <laughs> Not sliders. What am I thinking about? What's the restaurant? Did you get sliders? White Castle. Not that, not that. <laughs> I'm sorry if you love White Castle. <laughs> Maybe back in the day I did, I don't know. Plenty of people around me that love it, but here we go, side to side. Lighten it out. I'm talking about food. I've been hungry. Just hungry today, I think. Maybe I am craving a burger. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reach up, open up, give a little twist, feels good, breathe through it. We're getting close. We only have about 30 seconds, and we're gonna go into this first part. It's gonna be 10 minutes long. Good compound movements, push-ups, squats, that sort of thing, some core work. 
just to get us all ready to go, just body weight, getting us ready to go for the bigger weight that we're gonna do in the next section. Then we're gonna go back down to lighter weight and we're gonna have our no repeat, which if you were with me on our last workout I mentioned, this is the workout. This is the workout where you'll have the no repeat and it'll be muscular endurance. All right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go five reps. We have five exercises. We'll do this for 10 minutes. Our first one is our push-up. You can find an incline at the wall, a chair. I'm gonna go to the floor. If you're at the floor, let's go all the way down and all the way up with a hand release. One, pushing all the way through that chest. Try not to push off the hips. Okay, two, I'm trying not to coach too much. We gotta count three. And despite my count, you do five. And five, nice work. All right, we're going into squats here, okay? And if you want, three, Next one, we'll add a little jump to just to warm up, okay? That's fine, nice work. Rolling get up, two options here. A rolling crunch where we roll back to a sit, or a rolling get up where we roll back and we come all the way up. You can cross your feet there to make it easier, I'll show you. Let's go here for five. Oops, I didn't show you. One, we're gonna cross our feet if that's too hard. Two, like that, which is harder for me. <laughs> Three, two more, moving around here. Four, last one, and five. Great job. All right, grasshopper. So, a little different than a mountain climber. We're gonna cross the body. I'll show you from the front here. You're gonna actually bring that foot through and try to bring that elbow to the knee, okay? So you're tapping it through this way, side to side. Left, right equals one. We're gonna go for five of these, okay? Which would be 10 if you wanna count each one, but my brain doesn't work that way because it seems like more. <laughs> There's one. Left, right, two, three, four, and five. All right, good job. Still moving. Marching knee hits, left, right equals one. So just pulling down. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Easing in. Back to push ups. We still have eight minutes. We're going to keep working. Five push ups. Here we go. Again, on this one, let me coach through before we go with our five. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your bottom, push your toes in here, and we're going to lift those hips just slightly off the floor by squeezing those thighs. And we're going to push through the chest, push back and up. Good for one, two, three. So I'm rigid, I'm tight, pulling the navel in. Four, and five. Good job. All right, I'm gonna go for a jump squat here. You can just squat or squat up onto those toes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you land soft with soft knees there. All right, rolling get ups. Here we go. Five, if you're doing a rolling crunch, you're gonna do them a little quicker. You can rest, you can move on and move at your own pace through these. Or you can do a few extras. Three. Two more, four, and five. Good job. Grasshoppers, remember, left, right equals one. Here we go. Tap it through. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome work. Marching knee hits. Heart rate should be coming up. One. Two, three, four, and five. Great job. Back to push ups. Remember, you can do kneeling push ups, but if you'd like a wall or an incline off of a chair, you may have to bring your hands in a little closer. Some sort of incline can help keep that core really engaged, but make it easier or take some of the weight off. Here we go. Push ups all the way. One, two, three. Four, five, jump squats if you're there. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. All right, rolling get ups. Here we go. Or rolling sit up. Remember, you can stay here. One, or you can join me to the top. Two, three, four. I never do. Not that I never do. I don't do a lot of reps when I'm on here in five, so you can move at your own pace. But today, 
I think we're okay with five of them. Here we go, grasshoppers. If you find the grasshopper to be a little difficult, maybe you just kind of twist your knee and not bring the foot all the way through. Maybe just go down the middle for your mountain climbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Great job. Bar team hits. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We're halfway already. Five. Great job. You're like, already? <laughs> what are you talking about? Aren't we done? Oh, Tatum, push ups. Here we go. One. We can do this though. You take it at your own speed, okay? This is your 10 minutes, as many rounds as possible. One more here. Good, jump squat. So, you can crank up your music or crank this up and go at your own pace here. Here we go, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Good, rolling get up for five. Woo, we're gonna be ready to go when we pick up these weights today. And we are just building. Two, oops, three, two more. Four, one more, and five. Great job. Back to those grasshoppers. This came around quick, didn't they? <laughs> Did I forget one? I don't think so. Here we go. Kick it through. One, bring that foot and knee through. Two, cross the body. Three here. Four, and five. Awesome stuff. Here we go, marching knee hits left, right. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Back to those push ups. Modify, take a rest on a round if you want. It's your 10 minutes, you do you, and find your challenge. Just make sure you're challenging yourself. Three, two more here. Four, and five. Great job. Five jump squats. And usually, our uh, videos are a little bit shorter, but to kick off this month, to kick off, which is our weekend, we're gonna give it a little push, okay? All right, rolling get up. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, good job. All right, back to those grass, grasshoppers. <laughs> back down. Here we go, one, cross the body. Two, I might have forgotten those hits, did I? Three, sometimes I get talking. Four, <laughs> and five, way to go. And we're up, hits, I think I did. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. We have just two minutes of work left, okay? Let's make it happen. Back down for those push-ups. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Let me make a special note on that push-up real quick. Make sure those elbows are in line with your wrist. A lot of times they get people who really turn their hands in this way and their elbows flare out. You're gonna have most support and strength by having those elbows above your wrist. All right, jump squats. I in time, no, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Rolling get-ups, 130 to go here. One, I'm doing a little hop at the top because it feels good, two, you can just stand up, three, four, and five, good. Back to those grass hop grasshoppers. All right, here we go, kick it through. You might have to dip your side a little bit to get through there. Two. Three. Four. And five. I'm going nice and slow and controlled. Feel free to take those up a little higher. Here we go, one. Left, right equals two. And three. Four. And five, all right, 45 seconds. Let's see if we can get through this again. Five push-ups for me. One, some sort of push-up. Two, and it's okay if it's knees today. Three, if you don't have a safe incline nearby, 
Go to your knees. Just make sure that those hips are in line with the head, okay? See that? Not here. All right, jump squats. We're up. Feeling very coachy today. One, <laughs> two, three, get on board. four, and five. Good. Rolling, get up. 12 seconds. This looks like it's our last. Make it count. We'll see how many we get in here. Two, come on. And three, good. Time. Nice work. We have a minute to rest. Now, maybe you just want to use that as a quick 10 minute blast tomorrow, any day of the week, before you go to work in the morning, before you jump in the shower, during your lunch break, or right after work. After dinner, that is an option. It's a good one. Good total body there and everything, heart rate. <laughs> um, now we're moving on. We're gonna use our weights. You need to bring that heart rate down so you feel like you can do this, these weights with good form. So some of us are gonna return quickly. Some of us are gonna need more time. You can pause me here, take extra time, but don't get distracted. Stay where you are, come back. We have 17 seconds. We are starting with a bent over row. We're gonna go out, out, and then in. Okay, so palms back, palms in, alternating. I'm gonna go with my 15 just to give you a reference. Here we go, three, two, and one. Here we go. Palms back, palms in, just alternating here. Everything is 45 seconds. So I tried to do this variation here with the back and the chest, and we're doing one and a halves with our squats and our deadlifts, so that maybe for those who don't have huge heavy weights, which I was gonna get all of mine out, you can still feel something from this today if you're needing that challenge. Good. 15 more seconds. Keep alternating. Make sure you have that neutral spine, okay? I'm bending my knees, I have tight hamstrings, so if I'm straight and I'm here, I'm gonna be rounded because they're so tight. All right, so I'm bending, softening my knees, keeping a nice flat back, and we're resting. Great job. I'm gonna come down to the floor. I'm gonna try a little heavier here. Actually, we'll start with these weights. I might go up and wait on the second round. We're gonna go wide press, palms out to inside, palms in. Same thing, here we go. Wide, slide it in, palms in. I say wide or palms out to press up over those shoulders and in, press. Elbows are tucked in under those wrists. Elbows are always under your wrist, and no matter what position you take with those hands, they're right there. They're underneath, that just offers you, if you start to go up on that weight, and you don't have those elbows, and it's like a pillar holding something at the top, we, we need good support. If you're angled out, it's not good support, right? Make sure they're there. Helping, there you go. Wide, Woo. Three, and in, two, and one rest, oh, lovely. All right, deadlift. I'm gonna grab some heavier weight here. I'm gonna go 20s. We're doing one and a half. You can also use one weight, and actually maybe I'll start with one. Grab your weight here by the head. Soften those knees. We're gonna push back, come down to mid shin or ankle position with that neutral spine. Then we're gonna come up to the knees, back down to full stand. So that's a one and a half, all the way down to our knees, about halfway all the way through. There you go. Now, this may not be enough weight. Grab two. We'll work there. So, knee, shins, stand. Shins, knee, shins to stand. Good job. That's it. Woo! We got it. Blow that air out. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. We're gonna do the same thing with our goblet. All right, so goblet is here, holding the weight. You can hold it here. We're gonna come down, halfway up to all the way, okay? Three, two, and one. Again, this is just a great way to offer a little more time under tension, make this a little bit tougher when you only have light weight at home, when you've outgrown your weights. If you've outgrown your weights, and you're sticking with the in-home workouts, you're doing great, treat yourself. I know it's an expense, but put some money into it. Get those heavier weights at home. Keep challenging yourself. 
Good, that's it. 14 seconds. Half and up. Now, notice, last time we bent over, right? Here, that bottom drops down and our chest is up. I should see your face, okay? Sometimes I get on this one, still a bend here. Shouldn't see the top of your head. All right, 30 seconds rest here. We're going back to that wide to palms and roll row. Our palms back, okay, here to here. I'm gonna try this way. Be careful, sometimes we go too heavy too quick and usually what happens is the muscles that we're trying to work, we end up utilizing a lot of other muscles and we kind of, that muscle kind of stops working as well. So make sure you watch that, okay? If you're feeling pain anywhere, or pinching, go lighter. Make sure, so wide, this is what I find on my back sometimes. I've really got to engage and think here. So I may have to go back to 15s, but I'm gonna try this. So far, it feels okay. That's it. 45 seconds on all these. We have three rounds. If you're just getting started, you might take it two. Or take it three and leave off my next part. So we'll talk about that. Ways to modify the workout in general. I'll try to put the segments in this time around. Try to get back to it for you. That's it. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're down to the floor. A little rest here because we're seated. We're seated. We're lying. <laughs> oh. All right, palms out to palms in. Remembering to keep those elbows under the wrists. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Press it up over the shoulders. Slide it in, palms in, elbows under wrists. Keep them there each time, even though we're taking that different position with the hands. That's it, good. Keep working. Great job. Exhale when you press, inhale as you bring the weight back. So push on the exertion, or exhale on the exertion. That's your push here. Inhale on the release, on the easy part, right? Supposedly easy. <laughs> All right, nice work. Whew, we have deadlift, one and a half here. If you have heavier weight and you wanna take the half out, and you really just wanna work your deadlifts, go ahead. Uh, you would take one dumbbell here. I'm gonna use two. That's another way to make your lighter weights a little heavier is to use two. Here we go. And we'll talk about that on the squat that's coming up too. Because we did a goblet and one dumbbell may not be enough weight for you to really challenge those muscles. One and a half. So ankle to shin to about knee and up. Again, sticking that butt towards the back wall, pulling the shoulders back and away from the ears. Lumbar, the lower back, is neutral. So there's a bit of your natural arch there, okay? We're not tucked or rounded. If we are, bend a little bit more, push back a little bit more. Watch it. Three, two, and one. All right, so my goblet was a little easy with the 20. Say that. I'm gonna keep my weight here as long as my grip doesn't fail me. And I'm gonna go into my one and a half with two dumbbells. Here we go, three, two, and one. You can hold your weight up here, all right? If you have the weight that's challenging you. Good. Squat all the way, come up halfway, down and up for a full. Good, down, half, down, full. Down, half, down, full, you got it. Remember, your face is up, eyes up. If you look in the mirror, and your forehead is at, or the top of your head is at the mirror. We're pushing those hips back still. You wanna bring them more down. So if there's having a chair behind you, can help a little bit. A low chair that you can squat to can help with that. Good. Just like you're sitting down. Three, two, and one. Nice work, 30 seconds rest. We have one more round. This is a long workout today. We can get through it together. Some of us are there. Some of us need that longer workout for a challenge. Some of us are gonna be done when we finish this next set. That's okay, we'll talk about it. 13 seconds, I'm gonna grab a quick sip. All right. Always excited about a new month, I don't know about you. Three, two, 
and one. What are we doing? Rows. Whew, am I gonna, I'm gonna try. Here we go. Palms back to palms in. Now, I'm again excited for the new month. We're gonna be making some changes going forward. I'm not gonna go into all that detail, but super excited. Some of it will be here in the studio. Some of it will have to do with the posting of our workouts. So get ready for it. Tell a friend, bring friends in. We're still working to build this channel as much as we can. Hopefully making working out fun and easy, accessible. Good. Four seconds. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Here we go. We're down. You're doing awesome. You're rocking it. You're here. You're making it happen. Don't get discouraged if the weight that you're using today isn't where you thought you would be. All I ask is that you work out at your 10 for the day. And always, whew, here we go. Press wide, then press in. Wide, then in. Anyways, all I ask is that you um, work out at your 10. And again, that always varies depending on, you know, your sleep, your rest, your stress, your um, eating habits at the time, okay? So don't be hard on yourself if you show up and it's not there, if you don't feel like your normal superhero self. You're here, just take lighter weight and work through it. Good, keep going here. Three seconds, three, two, and one. Nice work, time. All right, we're back to that deadlift. We're gonna do that one and a half, all right? I've lost my timer in my ear. I'm gonna try to keep track for you here. Here we go, three, two and one. I'm gonna go with two dumbbells again. We're down to that the, the shins, lower shins here. Come up to the knees, back down, push forward. Notice my hips are going towards the plants back here, hopefully the wall, all right? And I'm gonna really keep those shoulders away, so I don't wanna go here and round. I gotta pull them back and down, away from the ears. That will help set that upper back flat. And then make sure you really bend the knees. You can almost squat, but you wanna keep the hips above the knees to find that neutral lower spine, which neutral is just having a little bit of that normal arch that you have there. And up, good, keep it coming. Great job. Here we go. Woo. Almost there, hang on. There we go, time, good job. Hi, right, rest a little here. We're gonna go into that goblet. All right, here we go. Again, I'm gonna use two weights, two dumbbells for a little added challenge. You can use one at, uh, with the goblet, all right? Good, so down, halfway to full, all right? So again, to just show you, you can hold this weight here, go up and down with it here. You can hold it here as well. You do you, modify, find your challenge. Those are just different ways to work. Good, squat. I wanted to push that bottom back. Keep that chest off, you got it. Good, just like the other, we're all the way down, halfway up. Notice my butt, it hinges, it's going back, but it's really going down towards the ground, right? Good. Woo, three, two, one. Great job. All right, we're resting. Now this is the tough part. Put those weights down, we have a minute here of rest. And a little bit more, it looks like. Gosh, I gave us about a minute 30 on this. So here we go. Here's what's happening. And we're gonna talk about these exercises. We're going into this muscular endurance at this point, okay? This is not gonna be heavy weight. We're gonna move for long intervals, all right? This is a no repeat, just using, doing each one of these at a long interval. So you can modify, you can take it down the interval if you need to. Some of us might be done here, that's okay. If you're just getting started, this might be it for you. Or maybe you just don't have enough time to finish this last part. So going on, we're gonna go chops down the middle with some weight. We'll just talk through it. I don't know that I have much of a transition. We're just gonna kind of keep the clock rolling. There might be a little bit of rest. Uh, twisting sit-ups. We're gonna press overhead. 
with some squats. These are long intervals, so take light to medium weight. If you wanna push heavy and drop step that um, exercise, you could. So you could start heavier and then keep uh, going lighter when you need to. Uh, that's a great way to, to um, amp up the workout and your strength. And then we, so I have nine exercises here. I'm not gonna go through them all. We have some jumping jacks. We have some uh, hero makers, I call them. They're really man makers, if you know what I'm talking about. Calling them hero makers. So let's get started. We're gonna chop down the middle. I think I'm gonna go, might try a 20. I may not make it through. This is a minute long. So here we go, down the middle, chop. Bring it back to the top, chop down. Start light on this. Maybe we even just start interlacing our hands and chop because you have to be able to brace at this bottom point when you chop and draw in at the same time in order to protect your back. So get that down first. Once you feel like you're really solid, like I could throw a ball at your stomach and you're gonna be okay, then you can add a little weight, just a little at a time. Had this discussion with a client recently. Start light, build up, make sure you're there. Don't just jump up to heavy weight, not knowing if you can do the fives, the eights, the tens, whatever. Good, chop down, that's it. So my intervals, this is a minute. Our next exercise is a minute 30. Our next one is two minutes. So we'll cycle through at those intervals up to nine exercises. Three, two, and one. Good, so twisting sit up, a minute 30. Crossover here, I did give us a little bit of rest. Now on this one, we're gonna come up, you're gonna cross over here, okay? If you feel lower back pain, pressure, it doesn't feel good, don't do that today. You're gonna stay low and just cross over here, knee to knee with that back firm against the floor. All right, here we go. We're up, if you're up, you're down. We're still crossing over, all of us. Some of us will stay low, that's okay. Protect your back. Still working your abs, okay? It's fine. Better to do that than to hurt that lower back and be out during our candy crusher month here, okay? We want to keep moving. The idea is to keep moving, to be safe, and be able to move every day. And that goes for getting sore, too. This is a pretty tense workout. You're getting started today. It's long. You're going to feel a little sore. You may want to back off here. You may want to say, that's it. Or take these intervals down. We have 45 more seconds. This is our minute 30. Our next exercise is going to be a good old two minutes long, all right? No repeats, so we're gonna work long. Good. 30 seconds. So maybe you started here doing your sit-ups. Your back was fine in the beginning. Now it's starting to tug, so we're getting a little tired. That's the time to come here and just cross it over. 18 seconds. You got it. Just modify, try to keep moving, but modify, whether that's bringing your weights down, going to body weight here, it's laying down. Maybe that crossover is too much now, and we're going to a crunch, okay? Modify, but keep moving for me, all right? Good, thrusters, one of my favorites. I'm gonna go, this is two minutes, so don't go too heavy on this. I'm gonna try 15s, I may have to change it. Or a squat, press with one arm, so we get a little bit of rest, this is two minutes. Squat, press with the other arm. You're using your legs when you have that heavier weight to help your shoulders, which are gonna get tired. Three, two, and one, here we go. Squat to press, good. And I want you to reset that weight before you squat again. Look, it comes back to my shoulder. Squat, press, reset, that's it. Give me a long two minutes, but you can do this. Find the weight that works for you. You can even just go to squatting if the shoulders have had enough. That's another way to modify. There you go. I may have to modify to some lighter weight too. We'll just see. We'll work through it. Now I'm using my legs to press because this is 15 pounds and I'm a little tired. And on a thruster, the idea is to use the legs, the power from the legs to help you push up overhead with the weight. If your weight is very light and you're not feeling challenged here, you're gonna squat, stop here, strict press with a pause so the legs are not in that press. Stop, then press without the legs. Heavier weight or tired arms, use the legs, use the legs. 50 more seconds to go, but remember, I know it's hard mentally, physically, 
we're not coming back to this exercise. So if you can just stick with it, you're not gonna see it again. That's the beauty of it. Just stick with it. So instead of coming back and repeating it later, we're just gonna knock it all out right now. 30 seconds. You've got it. Find some lighter weight if we need to, to keep going. Put the weight down, keep squatting, marching. Don't stop moving. Oh, you can do it. 15 seconds, yes. We go back down to a minute interval on our next exercise. We'll work 132 on the next two and repeat again on three different exercises. A minute, minute 32. Three, two, and one. Oh, jello. Okay, just jumping jacks here for one minute. You can take it low or high. Low looks like this. We're gonna reach overhead. Tap it out. This is where you need to be, go ahead. If you wanna take it high, we're gonna jump, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. That's it. Up overhead, reach. All the way, too, not just here, all the way. As long as you have the mobility in the shoulders, it feels okay, all the way. Good. You got it. Keep working. Oh, the coffee I had, feeling it today. <laughs> All right, just being honest. 25 seconds. Keep it coming. Just too much. Head low. You do you, modify, find your challenge. Next work. You got this. 10 seconds. Woo. Building intensity here today. Throughout this workout, three, two, one. All right, so next one, tough one. No weight is needed on this. I'm gonna show you without weight. Some of you are gonna do the weight with me. You're gonna come down, you're gonna do a push-up. You can do it from your knees or your toes, a push-up. You're gonna row, row, walk or jump it in, reach up, okay? If you can do it, we're going with weight. Here we go, this is a minute 30. Seems like a long time, but it takes a long time to work through these. All right, so hero maker as I call them, they're actually a man maker. We're gonna do our push up. We're gonna find our row, row, jump, or step it in, okay? And then bring it up to the top with a press, if you're there. Now, start with light weight. The place that I worry the most about everyone, here we go. Not really on this part, but it's coming up and then getting that neutral spine in your back and not here, bringing the weights up. So start light until you can find that, all right? You can take them in the middle or down the side, depending on, I let people decide. Some people can get those feet in the middle and still find a pretty neutral spine and pick the weights up. Some of us are gonna have to jump light and bring it up from the center. Whatever you're doing, make sure that lower back is not rounded. And if it is, then maybe we don't do any weight today, okay? I personally can get better squat here form and up due to some tightness that I have. There we go. Row, row, in, and up, five seconds. I'm gonna try to get another push up in and row. Three. I'm actually just gonna go for it and finish it out, but you can rest here. We're there. And press, good. Next one, we're gonna do some flies. Palms facing the body. We're gonna fly here, two, and then come up to stand and release, okay? This is two minutes, it's gonna wear us out. <laughs> here we go, so out to the side, one, two, then stand up, okay? Back down, you could do maybe three if you want. I'm just gonna take it twos because this is a long time. And back. I want you to keep the same bend in your arm the whole time. So I don't want you to come out here and do this. Not airplane wings, okay? More like a bat wing, I guess. A little bend, okay? Keep the bend. Just keep that same position in your arm as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And up, good. Just count, one, two. Oh, I am thinking about lunch. <laughs> Here we go, sorry about the noise. We have a lot of 
active stuff going on here in the neighborhood today at the homes around. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Hopefully not. There we go. Back and up. Good. We're almost halfway. And we are. We're halfway right there. You got this. And up. Good. Down. Again, neutral spine. Shoulders are down away from your ears. I have my normal arch here, okay? There you go. If this is getting tiring, maybe you do one side and then the other, and then you come up to modify or find lighter weights. Maybe you've already maxed out with your weights. Maybe you don't have anything lighter, so do singles here. That's one great way to modify. I did a series on that. I should go back and do another series. I think it was only on my Facebook page. So I'll try to do another one for you on modifications. That way you can educate yourself a little bit. And when you turn, uh, turn up, you can make it your own a little bit more. Every time you take a little bit more ownership of the workout, hopefully the more enjoyable it becomes because you feel like you have control. Good, and up. Some of you don't want control, that's okay. You just want me to tell you what to do. <laughs> that's time. All right, frog or squats. These are no joke, love them, it's been a while. So on this one, elbows on the knees. We're gonna drop our hips and then we're gonna extend up. And we're gonna drop down into that squat and kind of RDL it out, just extend here. Three, two, and one. Here we go, drop down, extend, drop, extend, good. Woo, there you go. We can do this. This is a minute 30 here, am I correct? No, oh, this is a minute, just a minute. We'll, we'll get through this. Then we have our minute 30 coming up. Just two more exercises after this, and you've done it. Good. I love that you're showing up. You're doing it, you're doing great. Just remember, you still wanna move throughout the day, okay? I know, you're like, but I did an hour workout, isn't that enough? I don't know, it depends. If you're on your feet most of the day, it's enough. If you're choosing whole foods, enough. Three, two, and one. If you're grabbing fast food <laughs> everywhere you go or you find yourself sitting in the car or at a desk most of the time, you need to find ways to move throughout the day, okay? Get moving, just even if it's for 10 minutes here and there. Splash it in somewhere, fit it in. All right, kettlebell swings. One swing down the middle. A little lighter because it's a minute 30. I don't want you pulling your back here. We're gonna grab, wait, I'm gonna grab it by the head here. You can grab it with two hands down the center and we're just gonna swing. And I'm gonna go all the way to the top here, but please, if your shoulders are tight and you have rounded shoulders forward, I'm gonna have you go just about chest height, okay? And I'm gonna see if I can grab <laughs> the edge of the step. I'll be careful up and down. My hands get sweaty. But you can grab the center of your weight as well. If you have a kettlebell, grab it. I have a few here. I just didn't want to intimidate anyone by pulling out too many pieces of equipment, but I do love my equipment. Just know that anything that I bring out, I really do try to give you alternatives. There'll be some days that I just use something the whole time. You can go back, find a different uh, video to do, okay? Good. 40 more seconds. We're pushing those hips back, all right? We're pushing back, and again, we're not rounding, we're not dropping to the floor with this weight. You want it to come right under the body, so you can set this weight out, hips are back towards the wall. You're gonna bring it right under the body, up overhead. We're gonna squeeze our glutes, draw that tummy in, even squeeze our shoulders, pack our shoulders here, so we're not shrugging. Coming right up overhead, good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, lunges. This is hard, two minutes. We're gonna lunge for a minute with one arm overhead. All right, so we're gonna come out, just alternating our lunge with an arm overhead. Holding our arm above may be enough today. Don't be ashamed of that, it's tough work. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try, gosh. I'm gonna try a 20, but it might need to go down to 15. We're working. We're alternating the legs. For two minutes, we're lunging. That's a long time, so do your best. Bring that arm up overhead. 
if you need to, um, rather than the weight. Because there's a couple things we need to do. We have to have good core strength here. We also have to have good shoulder stability and strength as well, or shoulder blade even here. May not be there yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hold this for the whole time, but we're sure gonna try. There you go. If you have lighter weight at home and your lunges don't feel challenging enough, you can hold another weight down here as well. 15 more seconds, we're gonna switch arms. Woo! There we go. Walk it out. Pack your shoulders. Seven seconds. Good. Let's switch sides. Woo! Other side. You got it. Feels good to switch. Give that other arm a break. We're still alternating each side here. Find your balance. Now, again, lunges might be enough for you today. Lunges are not easy. Getting down and up here in these lunges. So maybe we don't even worry about this weight overhead. Maybe we're just focusing on lunges today. Again, it's okay. Don't feel like you're lesser because of it, that you can't do this. You can do it, you just need to bring it down and modify it. And that's okay, because guess why? It's gonna give you little wins as you progress. If you start out too heavy, too much, too soon, you're gonna get frustrated. You're not gonna be happy with yourself. Start with something you can do and build from it. Give yourself those wins. It's all good. Five seconds is all we have. We are done with this workout in three, two, and one. Woo! Cool down. Grab a sip of water. You guys made it. 15 minute workout. I thought it went fast. I don't know about you. Let me know, comment. Give me a couple thumbs up if that went quick. <laughs> In the comment section. <laughs> Let me know, quick or not. If you made it, let me know. Let's go ahead and stretch out those shoulders after that. Let our heart rate return here. Actually, let's practice our breathing. I've been practicing this. It's a good time to kind of reset the heart rate here. I'm gonna have you breathe in through your nose so that your belly rises. And then I have you exhale through your mouth. All right, and as you're exhaling through your mouth, I want you to pull the belly button in and kind of up and feel the tightness that comes into play here. That's kind of what we're always looking for while we're lifting weights. So let's do that now. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Draw in. I just feel how tight you feel. Okay, good. Here we go. Up. And out. Good job. Give me one more in and out nice work let's bring that left arm across the body hug that arm keep the shoulders away from the ears good job good job today thank you for showing up for my first day here of our candy crush that's all, i don't know we can call it anything you want uh it's a big candy month i don't know we're or, and we're just i mean it's going to be holiday after holiday busyness so Hopefully we can stay focused during these busy times. Switch arms here for me. Draw that arm in, hug it, keep the shoulders down. And breathe. Ah, <sighs> feels good to get that done, doesn't it? And to go a little extra, a little longer. Usually we're somewhere between 30 to 40 minutes. Sometimes I hit that 45, so 50 minutes. Might work up to an hour by the end of this month. Maybe I'll try to extend it just a little bit each time. You let me know. I know it's hard to fit it in, but this one can be uh, divided up into chunks, so we'll talk about that. Let's go ahead, reach behind for that chest stretch here. Again, grab a towel on each side to uh, give some space if you have trouble reaching and interlacing the fingers here, all right? Feels good. Great job. Let's bring those hands out in front, interlace those fingers, chin to chest, round that back. Reach, feels good. I give it a little, little uh, shake here. <laughs> Arms to the left, left ear, or left ear, yeah, to left shoulder. Good, bring it over to the right, right ear to right shoulder. Good. I want a side bend too because I enjoy that. Today though, let's go wide with the legs on our side bend. Feels good. Reach up with that left arm. Just slide down that leg. 
making sure that the shoulders stay stacked. What do I mean by that? A lot of times we start to turn to give into that stretch. Reach them back, maybe look up at your arm. Make sure you find your breath. If you get to a point you can no longer breathe, you've gotten too far, come up out of it just a bit. We should be able to breathe and relax as much as possible. It's not easy. Good, up over to the other side. Here we go. Back up. We're gonna do our quad stretch from the floor today just to give you that one for the month. When I do one standing or kneeling that is difficult. Good, so let's come down to the floor. Always kind of reset at the month in case you're new to my channel. I like to lay on the side here. You can bring your knees in. So a lot of times standing and, and getting um, and grabbing this ankle is hard because it's so far behind. So you can lay here and, and just pull in. And bring that leg back, get a good stretch. Breathe through it. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good work. Let's come up to the other side. Oh, it is a gorgeous day. Hope it's gorgeous where you are. Bring those knees up. I am fueled by the sun and the weather. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, feel the difference. See if you notice tightness in one side versus the other. We'll need to work on that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're almost there. We're gonna go into cat cow here, okay? Especially after doing all that deadlifting. So go ahead, let's round that back, bring those shoulders, I know, timer's going. I lied, we're going 51 minutes today instead of 50, drop that chin, reach, a little scaredy cat here. Bring the tops of the feet to the floor, dump that belly, look up. Happy cat, <laughs> or cow. There we go. Scaredy cat, reach. Toes to the floor, happy cat. Last one and I'll let you go today. Thank you so much again for joining me. I really appreciate it. You, your support, I really enjoy bringing this to you. I hope you enjoy the workouts. Feet to the floor. Happy cat, look up. Bring those shoulders away from the ears. Okay, we'll stop there. It's been a long one already. I won't keep you anymore. Thank you again for showing up. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Keep spreading the word, we really appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, banging out these uh, workouts with you. Thanks so much, bye-bye.